Hello and welcome back for another clarinet tutorial from Nottingham Music Excellence. So I'm going to play Choson Kael Maslatov, I hope I've pronounced that right, in the A3 list from the Grade 4 clarinet book. And as well as playing the music, I'm going to have a chat about the detail of the music, give you a short tutorial on that detail. And, and then I'm going to give you an opportunity to play along with the piano accompaniment yourself. And I've got two different speeds that you can play along with. Um, as the piece is quite fast. So I've done a slightly slower backing track that you can play along with that perhaps at a little bit more of a steady tempo if you're in the early stages of learning this piece. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Here we go. Okay, so you've heard the music now. Let's say a few words about the detail of the music and what you need to do to make this sound really awesome. So I think the A3 piece, I think this is going to be a big favourite with most people. I think this is certainly going to be the most popular choice out the, out the A pieces. It's got a bit of a cool vibe to it, this one. It's quite enjoyable to play and it's not too hard either. I love the short introduction on the piano part on this. It really kind of sets you up in the right way, doesn't it? And personally, one of the features I like on this, on the grace notes, I personally like to play the grace notes nice and fast and really snappy. So I think the, the quicker you can get those before the beat, it will sound really quirky, really good. And later in the upper register as well. So again, try and fit those in as neatly as you can. And actually, on that point as well, you'll notice that this is a little bit fiddly. If you're one of those players that's got used to just using left hand C's only, you might get a bit unstick, unstuck at this moment because I think this really needs to be done. I don't know, I think that. Someone always proves me wrong with these points, you know, but I think that probably can be done the left hand, but I think that's quite awkward. So try if you can, do a right hand C and see if you can move those two fingers exactly together. I think that will give the best results. And there's a little tricky thing going on at bar nine here with the tonguing, especially depending on the speed that you're going to play it at. If you're playing it quite fast, like the ABRSM version, you might find this quite tricky actually. <laughs> I think for grade four that's quite tricky tonguing isn't it so you could maybe do a different a slightly different articulation there and um, you could do I don't think anyone's going to argue about that it's the only place in the piece actually where you've got that tricky triplet tonguing so if you are playing the piece quite fast and you want a little fix for that bar, I don't think anyone's going to argue about that, are they? So you could uh, slur to tongue one, but clip off on the second quaver. So so if you're playing it quite fast, if you speed that up, that still sounds pretty pretty okay, I think. Who 
who's going to notice that? <laughs> anyway, I think that's a perfectly acceptable fix uh, for that if you are struggling with the tonguing on that bar. And just be careful with this piece that it doesn't turn into a, a kind of a bit of a blasterthon. You know, don't play it all, don't just tank it all out at the same dynamic. Try and vary the sound a little bit. I quite like at 18, 19, <clears throat> just to soften the sound there a little bit. So after you've done that, So make sure you've got a few of those tender moments in there. And I think those extra dynamic contrasts will really help you score just those few extra points in the exam as well. Okay, so I think that's all I'm going to say about the technical side of playing the music. Have a go at playing along with the accompaniment yourself now. And if you look in the description, the timestamps are in there and I have uploaded two different tempo, two different speeds here of the piano accompaniment. So pick the one that suits your ability the best. Obviously, the second one is slightly slower at a slightly more steady tempo. So choose the one that you can play along with. Here we go. Okay, so I think that's it for Chosan Kale Mazeltov. I think I've got that pronunciation right. Hope you enjoyed that video and found it useful. If you did, of course, then click that like button. Let me know how you're getting on with the grade four clarinet. I'd love to hear from you. But for this one, that's it. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.